Hello Judge, what is you are watching Academy Calendar prepared for you by InstaForks TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. Early next week, the following macroeconomic events will see the light of day. On Tuesday, the Bank of Japan will announce its key interest rate decision for October. The market does not project any change in the overnight call rate of minus 0.10%. At the previous meeting, the Bank of Japan stood part on its benchmark rate. In a widely expected move, the Bank of Japan maintained their 0.1% interest it charges on a portion of excess resolves that financial institutions park at the central bank. It also kept its yield target for 10-year Japanese government bonds around 0%. The decision was made by an 8 to 1 vote. The Bank of Japan maintained its upbeat view of the economy, signaling its conviction that a solid recovery will gradually accelerate inflation towards its 2% target without additional stimulus. On Tuesday evening, the U.S. Consumer Sentiment report prepared by the conference board will be printed. In October, this index is expected to have reached 120.3 points. In September, the indicator touched the level of 190.8, falling more than expected from a revised five-month high level of 120.4 recorded in August. Concerns over the impact of Hurricanes Harry and Irma weight on investor sentiment. Meanwhile, market were anticipating the index to drop to the level of 120 points. On Wednesday, the U.S. Federal Reserve will announce its key interest rate decision. Market forecast that the central bank will leave the rate at 1.25%. At the Federal Open Market Committee meeting on September 20, it was decided to leave interest rate unchanged at the same level. At this meeting, the Fed also announced that it would be beginning to shrink its massive $4.5 trillion balance sheet. The decision was unanimous. There was some discussion between the hawks and doves with regard to a December rate hike, with some suggesting that rates should increase as the labor market has stabilized while others are good to wait for inflation to reach their 2% target rate. In addition to this event, the following statistics will be revealed. On Monday, retail sales and inflation reports will be issued in Germany. The U.S. will release personal spending data. On Tuesday, China will report on purchasing managers' activity, while the euro area and Canada are set to release GDP data. On Wednesday, November 1, New Zealand will publish data on the labor market. The UK and the US will release manufacturing PMIs. You have watched the economy calendar on InstaForex TV channel. We wish you have a profitable deals. Good luck!